going on everybody? Chris here from Bold Canyon Outdoors and today we're going to go through a quick and easy install. We're going to remove the factory Jeep grill and we're going to install this lighted custom grill from American Modified Off-Road. It's actually a pretty easy install. This one might be a little bit tricky because I don't have much clearance between the grill and the winch, but we're going to give it a shot. All right, first things first, let's get the old grill out. Now, there are six of these little pop-up tabs across the top of the grill. So what you're gonna wanna do is grab a small screwdriver like this, put it under one side, and I like to grab the other side with my fingernail, pop it up like this, and then the whole thing comes out. Just like that. We're gonna save all of the connecting hardware because we're gonna use it to put the new grill in. Once you've got all six of those out, set them aside so you can reuse them, and we'll start pulling the grill off. Before you can take the grill off, you need to pull out your bulb assembly for the turn signals. So you just reach in, give it a quarter twist, it will pop out like so. Do that on both sides. That way your grill is free of any wiring and it's ready to pop out. So the top part's loose because we took the little pop rivets out. Now underneath, there are four little pop-in inserts down here, and so we'll just give it a gentle tug, like so. Work our way across, and the grill is free. So these are the pop-in inserts right here. We're gonna remove all of these. There's one, two, three, four of them on the bottom of the factory grill, and we're gonna reinsert them on the new grill. These guys can be a little tricky to get off, but if you just use a small screwdriver, get underneath it, just give them a quick pop, they'll come right off. Set those aside because we're going to reuse them. Next up, we need to remove the retaining clip from the turn signal socket, and we're going to pull out the turn signal. Same thing, use a little screwdriver, Let's pry this guy loose. Then you have a little tab right here and right here that you're going to push in to loosen the turn signal cup. One, two, and it will slide right out the front and we'll reuse this in the new grill. Now one thing you can't remove from the old grill is this rubber seal, but the new grill comes with one. So we're going to clean up this edge with some alcohol and we're going to stick the new one on with the double sided tape that's attached to it. Next up, we'll flip it around and we'll put the clips on. Then we can reinsert the turn signal cups. All right, so I'm gonna untie the wiring for the LED bar so I can have that ready to hook up. And now it's time to fit the new grill. Like I said, this might be a little bit tricky for mine because of the winch here, but I think we'll have enough room to squeeze it in. Slide it down in and get the retainer clips in the right position. Now, under normal circumstances, this would just pop right in. But because of my winch, I have one little spot that's very tight. There we go. Once the grill is in place, we'll replace all the little pop-in rivets. They simply drop in and push down and they are secure. So we replace the six of those and then we'll put in the turn signals. All right, there she is, fully installed. A bunch of handprints on it. Looking good and sharp. Got the LED wired up, we'll take a look at that. There you go, nice and bright. So that is the American Modified Off-Road Gladiator Grill with the LED bar in it. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them below. But this is a great way to change the look of your Jeep. And do me a favor, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and ring that bell. That way you'll be notified anytime we do a parts install, 
gear review, off-road run, all kinds of cool stuff coming from Bull Canyon Outdoors. So that's it for now. For Bull Canyon Outdoors, this is Chris signing off. Happy trails, everybody.